All right, with WordPress, we have four different types of themes we could use. We could use a classic theme, we could use a block theme, or we could use a hybrid theme or a universal theme. Now, what is the difference between these types of themes and what does it mean to the user? And what does it mean to the developer? Should you just forget about classic themes and move over to block themes? Are block themes fully ready? Is full site editing out of beta? Or should you use just a hybrid or a universal theme? That's what I wanna cover in this video. The reason why we have four different types of themes is because of the Gutenberg project, which is WordPress's way of transitioning from classic to block editing. Over the years, WordPress has seen a lot of changes taking place with the way users interact with the site. They introduced the Gutenberg plugin and that doesn't have that many great reviews. But most of that could be attributed to the fact that people don't like change, especially if they feel change is taking place too fast. But the company behind WordPress called Automatic and their developers have been looking at the landscape and seeing that users want something that's easy to work with. Some of WordPress's competition, while still small in terms of market share, makes it easier for a user to design and edit their site. And in the past, some users have complained that there's too many ways to customize the site or too many settings that they have to interact with. So full site editing was an idea and it's an idea that's coming to fruition, but not everybody's convinced yet. And the available options out there, they're not that many. Right now, if you go to wordpress.org and you go to the theme section, you're gonna see there's about 10,200 some odd or a little bit less than that themes available for you to download for free. But of that 10,000 some odd themes, the vast majority of them are classic themes, almost 10,000. I mean, that makes sense considering the fact that classic themes have been around for over 15 years. So how many block themes are there? As of this recording, there's still less than 200. So classic themes are still the most widely used option out there. But let's talk about the four different types of themes and what makes them different from each other. Classic themes are what we've been working with for years. They're based on PHP, they're based on JavaScript, HTML, CSS. They use the template hierarchy, you use the customizer, and you also use widgets. And if you've been working with WordPress for a while, then you know that when you add content, you typically add content with the tiny MCE editor. But that's not the default editor anymore. So if you want to get that functionality back, you have to use the classic editor plugin. And if you want to get the old way of working with widgets, you have to use the classic widgets plugin. One of the best benefits of classic themes is the ability to really customize how your site looks. But Automatic and WordPress has shown that they really want people to use the block themes. So what are block themes? Block themes are fully compatible with full site editing. They don't use any PHP templates. And with block themes, you don't use the customizer. Instead, you use the site editor. Block themes are made up of HTML templates that are composed entirely of blocks. And the blocks are what automatically enables the site editor feature, the template editor, the global styles interface, and more. And also a block theme uses a theme.json file. If you want to get an example of what a block theme looks like, take a look at the brand new default 2023 theme. Or you can look at the 2022 theme if you want. But as I mentioned before, there's not as many options when it comes to block themes on WordPress.org. Again, 10,000 versus 200. Classic themes have the advantage when it comes to sheer volume of what's available. And full site editing is still kind of in beta. So now what is a hybrid theme? A hybrid theme mixes the traditional classical approach of creating a theme, but with full site editing features. With a hybrid theme, you could use block templates, and you could also use a theme.json file. So a hybrid theme is a mix between a classic and a block theme. You'll typically see that a hybrid theme is being used to develop a client website, or if you're converting a classic theme to a block theme. Now, what about universal themes? Now, this is gonna get interesting because it kind of blurs the line between a hybrid theme and a universal theme. But basically, with the universal theme, you're using both the site editor and the customizer in order to interact with the design of your site. Block base is a good example of what a universal theme looks like. So if you're a user, should you be using a classic theme? Should you use a block theme? or a hybrid theme or a universal theme. It really depends on what your comfort level is. If you've been working with classic themes in the past and you're very familiar in that workflow, then you can continue using classic themes because really they're not going anywhere. Or maybe go the approach of using a hybrid or universal theme. 
But if you're brand new to WordPress and want to work with the absolute latest features, then maybe go with the block theme approach. Right now there's under 200, but I'm projecting that there's going to be an explosion of block themes coming on the scene soon. It'll be a few years before block themes catch up to where classic themes are now. But it doesn't hurt to play around with it, to get familiar with it, and to see which one you like. Which is why you may want to try out using a classic theme and a block theme. You can check out any one of my tutorials on how to set up a local development environment. And there you'll be able to test out the features of classic themes, hybrid themes, universal themes, block themes, or any plugin you want to use. Now, what does this mean for developers? In particular, WordPress theme developers. Where should you focus your attention on now? Should you completely disregard classic themes and move over to block themes? Should you hold off on block themes and just continue going the classic route? My opinion is that you have a lot of work cut out for you because in reality, you have to continue supporting and learning how things are done the classic way. But you also have to look at what the future of WordPress entails, and that is full site editing and block themes. That means as a developer, you can benefit from coding a classic theme entirely, coding a block theme entirely, and then finding a way to merge them together and create your hybrid or universal theme. That's the approach I'm taking. And I'm refactoring the DevWP theme, which is my training theme. And that's gonna be a hybrid universal type theme itself. It's coded the classic way, but with block theme features. All right, hopefully this video answered some of your questions of what's the difference between a classic theme, a block theme, a hybrid theme, and a universal theme. I know it can get confusing, but changes to the platform are happening all the time. And it's important that you stay aware of those changes and how they impact you as a user or as a developer. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or opinions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.